Welcome to another edition of Inquiring Mind. I am your host, Don't Inquire. Yes, the red shirt guy. <laughs> Today I wanted to talk to you a little bit about the new patch for Path of Exile, the Betrayal League, which is launching on December 7th. In the Betrayal League, the Diablo Immortal Syndicate will be sending assassins after any character wearing a red shirt to try and kill them while you play a Clue-esque murder mystery game to try and figure out how the hell you're going to get revenge on Vorici for years and years of those terrible daily missions. Uh, today in this video, I'm just going to cover uh, a little bit about the crafting itself because I think for me, the Betrayal League... The crafting is what really kind of shines. Uh, I think there have been some crafting leagues in the past. I know of at least a couple, the Essence League and the Bestiary League. I didn't play during Essence League. I did play Bestiary League. Now, if you talk about kind of crafting leagues, these are leagues which are the central focus of the league is kind of crafting items. Now, while the Betrayal League does not specifically been touted as a crafting league, I don't know why I'm using the air quotes. I think of it kind of in that way just because of the amount of crafting versatility that we're going to get with this new league. And that's something that I think is really, really, really phenomenal about Path of Exile is really the item crafting game and how strong it is and how strong it's about to get um, with the inclusion of a, a few new and kind of cool things that we've had in the past. So what's coming back is the Bestiary League. Um, they we're also getting the Incursion League and the Delve League mechanics kind of folded into the core game, which is awesome. Now, these three leagues all had kind of some crafting options. They all had kind of like different ways to manipulate items and, and craft them. So from the Bestiary League, you had all these cool recipes where you go out and capture like very powerful monsters with a net, and then you can use those monsters at an altar to kill them. And then that gives you like a specific recipe you can throw on an item which was really cool. The league itself was, eh, it wasn't that great, but they fixed the issues that it had and then brought it back into the core game. Then we're also getting back the Incursion League. Now, Incursion, you uh, kind of created a temple. Uh, you, you modified a temple. You kept going back in time and, and, you know, designing the temple, and you got to pick the rooms that you wanted. And among these, there were some rooms that allowed you to craft really, really, really powerful versions of items. You could double corrupt an item. So you could get two corrupted implicits on a single item. Uh, which made for some very, very strong items, but you also had a chance to just destroy the item or ruin it in any other way. Um, and then the Delve League is coming back, and the Delve League, of course, had the fossil system, which allowed you to socket different fossils if you wanted to exclude specific modifiers or if you wanted to include specific modifiers. It gave you ways to do that. Uh, and then in terms of the crafting, they're also adding the uh, Veiled crafting mechanic. So Veiled affixes will appear on random junk items that you may or may not even need. And I'm sure we'll be able to highlight these items with loot filter options. Um, but you take them and then you spend kind of a, a currency on them and you actually level up the affix that's on that item. So if it's, an, if it's a thing that gives plus one to gems, then maybe you can level it up and get it to do plus two to gems. Or if it's something that gives the item quality, maybe you level it up and it'll get up to plus 10 quality, plus 20 quality on an item. Uh, so there are, that's there's so much crafting kind of coming back into the core game with this league that I, I think you know this is something that if you talk about conceptually what does uh, blizzard do to combat botting and item sales right they put on soulbound mechanics and uh you know do various other things well one of the biggest things that you can do when you're designing a game to combat you know, players having to go somewhere else for items, it's just giving them a lot of really cool options for making their own items. You know, you're not necessarily going to find every item that you want in Path of Exile for your build, but giving you ways to craft your own items, I think is kind of the coolest thing that you can do. And now with the addition of all these other league mechanics, they're also reworking the master crafting system. So if you don't know what master crafting is, it basically, after days and days of doing really, really tedious daily missions for a master, along with a prophecy, um, you could finally level them up to like level 7 or level 8. It took forever, and your average player wouldn't do it. This unlocked very powerful crafting recipes that were very expensive that you could use to make kind of the best versions of items. Well, with the new mechanics, the way that the master missions will appear, it should be a lot easier to kind of target specific things that you want to be able to do with items so you don't have to get them to level eight to unlock you know all the best recipes 
Now you just find them on the Atlas and maybe you'll get a cool recipe unlocked that you can then use. So this could encourage the player to try out and create interesting items with affixes that uh, they weren't ne ne necessarily aware of or they weren't looking for, but they've unlocked it and now like, oh, this I could make a cool item with this. I think, you know, in playing Path of Exile, I've got about 900 hours played. And one of the things that I love the most about the game is just rolling Chaos Orbs on a ring over and over again until I get one that has, you know, health damage and all resists. And, uh, you know, it, it's like, wow, I can actually, I made an item and I can put the item on. I don't have to go buy it, you know, from some other player. So I think when you give players all of these options from all of these crafting leagues that are kind of coming back, it's very exciting. And, I, you know, it makes me want to play the solo cell found league, uh, potentially make all of my own gear. And I think that's, that's really cool. That's something that grinding gear is, is kind of refined over time. You know, they bring in these leagues and they're like, oh, this worked, this didn't work, this was good, this was bad. We're going to exclude this from the base game. We're going to bring this into the base game. But they get to cherry pick kind of the best of the work that they've done in the past and, and they bring it into the base experience. And then you get something like the Betrayal League. And I think the amount of crafting that you're going to be able to do in the Betrayal League is just, it's just bananas, you know, compared to e even the most recent league like Delve. Um, with the addition of incursion and beast crafting coming back and then just throwing in one new thing with the veiled modifiers, I, I think the items you're going to see coming out of the player economy are going to be absolutely insane. And it should be a lot of fun. Um, that's, you know, that just covers for me the crafting. I'm going to make another video talking about some of the other things coming in the Betrayal League. Uh, I'll also be streaming Path of Exile on Twitch TV. I'll put a link in the description. Uh, I've been streaming some Path of Exile, so... If you think, uh, you know, you want to chat with me or say, hey, uh, you can jump in my new Discord that I just made last week uh, or come visit on uh, Twitch and uh, feel free to, you know, ask me questions or talk to me. Or if you just think I'm an idiot and that, uh, you know, I don't know what I'm talking about, you can come tell me that too. I'm uh, happy to have a conversation. Uh, thanks so much for stopping by and uh, I'll be posting this, uh, the next video in a few Scarabs. days.